the important use of Colder's law is to deduce the lambda infinity value of the weak electrolytes correctly by arithmetically combining the lambda infinity values of strong electrolyte in appropriate manner. For example, if you see this lambda infinity of CH3COOH that is acidic acid which is a weak electrolyte is deduced from lambda infinity values of sodium chloride, hydrochloric acid and sodium acid and sodium acetate. So in such a manner that lambda infinity of CH3COH is obtained that is acetic acid. So if you see the sodium acetate that is CH3COONA is a strong electrolyte and it gets ionizes to acetate ion and sodium ions at all concentrations in water. So this is about the strong and weak electrolyte which we are going to discuss now. So in this we have the application of Coulter's law. So applying Coulter's law for lambda infinity of sodium acetate plus lambda infinity of hydrochloric acid minus of lambda infinity of NaCl. So let me just explain it very easily for you. So this sodium acetate, if you see the CH3COO minus has been indicated over here and this Na plus will be indicated. So this is the split up of this term and in this case HCl that is lambda infinity of hydrochloric acid we have splitted H plus and Cl minus similarly for NaCl we have splitted Na plus and Cl minus so if you see after the split up we have plus lambda infinity Na plus ions and minus lambda infinity Na plus ions. So this plus and minus gets cancelled. Similarly in such a way Cl minus Cl minus that is plus lambda infinity Cl minus and minus lambda infinity Cl minus will be getting cancelled. So after cancelling all these terms the remaining will be this term. So this is nothing but the formation of acetic acid that is lambda infinity CH3COOH. So this is how the Coleridge used to apply its law. So this method produces agreeable values of lambda infinity for weak electrolytes. Similarly lambda infinity for ammonium hydroxide can be used as. So this one is ammonium hydroxide. It has been treated as ammonia and hydroxide ions. And over here if you see, we have had a plus lambda infinity Cl minus and minus lambda infinity Cl minus. Similarly in such a way we have added sodium. So even if we cancel up these two terms, we will be getting the original thing that is ammonium hydroxide. So once after adding these things, we will be yielding ammonium chloride, sodium hydroxide and this one sodium chloride. 